Hey there, Grimmies, Ho Dads, Surfer Girls, guitar players all over the world. Welcome to another bedroom hijinks. Uh, a little while back, I I, um, I did a little bit where uh, I explained my my so-called approach to soloing and and I said you know one way to create a bit of excitement and dynamic is to just you know leap to another key. And the response to that was, yeah, well, that's well and good. But how do you get up there? And then how do you get back? And, and I'll give you a couple of examples how I, how I solved that problem. Now, I'm not a mathematician and um, I don't know my, you know, little diagram of the circle of fifths that Coltrane drew. But my ears are reasonably good and, and, uh, and, and I like the idea of things being in harmony. So that's fine. And I don't really want to labor over it. You know, I don't want to just, as some people do, keep on throwing chords at the song in the valiant hope that, you know, it will somehow magically resolve itself. So um, there's a little bit of uh, deliberation going on there somewhere. Now, in another Lost Weekend, I go from the, uh, the verse and the chorus, which is in G, to the solo, which is in A. Now, a little bit of background. In the, in the verse, there's a little kind of pretty bit, um, which goes to an E chord. And I take advantage of that chord to find my way back from the solo. But I'll show you how this, this song actually kind of goes. So it's... It's happened many times before, but nothing like this old Lord of the Weekend. And there's the first the chorus. Straight to the solo. It's happened many times before, but nothing like this old Lord of the Weekend. So that's, that's the way I solved that one. You know, I was thinking, okay, in jazz or the old standards, they had their, you know, their segues. Uh, the diminished chord was usually a way of getting from one chord to another, for example. That doesn't sound good in a, in a pop rock context, but... Sounds perfectly, you know, acceptable. So that's one way. Be straight into it and find a melodic way to resolve it. And, and in this case, it was just serendipitous. There were some chords that had a relationship together. In Niagara, there's really not that much um, relationship between the, the key that the song's in, which is D, and the solo. Well, I suppose there is, but, but the solo could have been anything. I just chose B because it, it was, I like playing in B. But the song's very frantic and, and it takes a lot of energy to play. And then going from a frantic, you know, um, verse and chorus into a frantic solo just didn't work for me. And not only that, it was about one of my, you know, favorite people. So I wanted to pay homage to, you know, a bit more and have some fun with it. And, you know, and of course my brain went into associations. So we had, you know, things like um, Destroy All Monsters. Um, it, and you got, which takes you to Ron Ashen and takes you to the Stooges. And, um, and then going over the falls in a barrel. All, you know, you just have a, a ball with it, and and so we we kind of you know wanted to not be so serious, and okay, so the verses. Okay, it's like they're you know just punking out, and I don't want you to go Niagara. Niagara. Now, we wanted to have fun, so.
bit of surf. Now the soul. Now how the heck do you get back from there? Well, at the end of the solo, we just simply stopped and went straight into the intro again. <laughs> so on one hand, you leap straight into your solo into another key and try to find some harmonic sense to ease your way back into, um, into the song, whether it be, you know, in this case, it was halfway through a verse and then a chorus which is a really great way to go. I often go straight back into a chorus because it sort of lifts the song up after a solo and it keeps him from dragging on, you know, and being tedious. And um, the other way was to, you know, have a bit of a play and you work your way up to the key and ignore all conventions and go straight back into your, uh, into your song should you see fit to do so. So um, I, hope, I hope that made sense. Uh, I'll play this back to myself and... God willing, and the creek don't dry, it'll all work out. So, hasta la próxima. <laughs>